Ooh. Been absent a couple days. A few days. I'm taking a little break. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. I went out to uh, my mailbox and uh, uh, had a surprise there. Uh, a gift from a friend. Um, sent me a brand new corn cob pipe. Or I think and I want to say he got it like something was wrong with it. Or they said it was or whatever. I don't know. So I guess he got like a discount on it or something. I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, so that's why the little X is there. But anyway. Awesome. I've had a corn cob pipe before, but I've never had one uh, this big or this deep. I guess a bowl. So, man, it's so cool. Missouri. Yeah, Missouri corn cob. <coughs> and he sent me some goodies to go with it. Which I probably will only review one of them right now. Any tips on storing pipe tobacco? Let me know. I've been keeping this in a Ziploc. Uh, the package and the tin and a Ziploc just to be on the safe side. Uh, I know a jar. Jars are good. Um, but uh, I'm new to pipe tobacco. So, or any knowledge of it. So, I did smoke pipe tobacco back in the day. But um, uh, whenever I was a... Uh, <clears throat> before my early 20s and in my early 20s but uh, I didn't think I was old enough to do it I guess <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, anyways, we got some nightcap here Dunhill night nightcap a blend for the evening so I guess it's an afternoon smoke but I have already tried it um, uh, but uh I can definitely say this is an all day for me. Um, uh, if if I was smoking a pipe all day, uh, man, uh, I was very excited to see this. I've been seeing uh, stuff about this lately. When uh, recently just getting into pipe tobacco, and uh, I, don't know, I heard it was really nice. So the fact that uh, he he sent this exact one. Uh, man super stoked uh the smell is so amazing like i didn't know that pipe tobacco could smell this way i've i know that they're i, I like good sweet aromatic blends but this uh right here is uh something else i didn't know pipe tobacco could be good and not be sweet uh man open this thing up gosh it smells like smoky the scent is like the taste of Copenhagen long cut it's smoky uh, in a non like non the pipe tobacco is not gonna be like dip it smells like what it tastes like because Copenhagen long cut doesn't smell what it tastes like it just smells like ferment, fermented tobacco uh, tobacco and like salt so but this is just so smoky and you can smell it. It smells salty. Uh, I don't know if there's sexual salt in it. I'm just saying to me, that's what it smells like. It smells smoky, salty. Just trying to pull this little thing up. Get a little rough with it. Maybe not the best lighting to shoot this in, but I can't smoke in my house. I mean, I could, but. See, it's black, brown, gold, yellow, a uh, blend of tobaccos. And I guess we can, we can call this a review. Not really 
just sharing this one with y'all because uh, I was very excited and uh, I know there's a, a couple pipe uh, viewers that tune in because they are more into pipe uh, but uh you know I don't know interesting Super smoky. Now I don't have my tamper with me, so I'm gonna do the best we can. And this stuff is so it's moist too. Sorry, I'm so slow today. Uh, I got uh, pretty shwasted uh, last night, and um, I fell. <laughs> and now I know what it means to be old and uh, fall while drunk. Oh, yeah, I know what it feels like. <laughs> I haven't fell in a very long time. <laughs> Which, I'm not that old, but I'm just saying, uh, man... I just mean like I haven't felt fallen. It I wasn't doing anything stupid. I uh but uh I slipped and I fell in the shower. <laughs> or kinda out the shower. <laughs> Just the taste, very smooth. It's very smooth. The the smoke is very smooth as well. Very smoky, but it's not smoky because I'm smoking something. The actual tobacco is a smoky smell, and it's, it's uh, smells of campfire, salty, maybe even meat. Maybe even kind of smoky, meaty, like in the aftertaste. It's smoky, then it's like meaty in a really good way. This is one that you smoke. I could definitely see this like after a nice steak, like or something like that. I just, I can't, I didn't know that it could be this good. I definitely have to say this uh, beats the, this blows Captain Black out of the water, even though they're totally two different blends. But um, uh, I definitely want to say I probably prefer sweet tobacco blends over anything. But when it comes to this, if I, my hands on anything that's related to this I can definitely say this beats Captain Black Check it out, check out the pipes. Yeah, it was a long night. <laughs> Not that long, we probably went to bed around, me and my wife probably went to bed around 12. But that's late for us with the newborn and having to get up at two <laughs> later. 
Yeah, but I fell, man. I was in the shower. I slipped. I fell. We have a small shower in our uh, in our bedroom. And uh, <laughs> and I don't even know what happened. Next thing I know, I slipped and I was out the shower door and on the floor. And you know when you step into an old shower, old small shower. They got those metal things. Oh, they probably have this on any showers. I guess I don't know what it, what it would be called. Uh, got these little metal things. I like guess it stops the door basically and keeps it shut or whatever. And uh, you know, right at the bottom of the shower door. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if y'all do, anyways. And I guess I, I don't know. Fell on that. It's just where I fell. It's so up high that it's like, how did that? I, just, I don't even know how it happened. Crazy to me. Nightcap. Dunhill. Nightcap. A blend for the evening. Nice, man. And this is a. Uh, 1.76 ounces, 50 grams. Manufactured in the EU, Denmark, under the authority of Dunhill Tobacco of London Limited. 1A Street, or 1st A Street, 1A Street. James, London SW 1A, 1EFA. Warning, the product contains blah blah blah, we already know. Pipe tobacco made in Denmark. Stay smoky the whole time, man. And smoky, not because it's smoking the flavor it's just and it's not subtle it's not overpowering but it's not i guess it's just um, this is a horrible review <laughs> good chat though i just i don't know that much but it's so it is aromatic it is it's a natural uh it's so tasty Man, I'm in love. Uh, I'll also have this to review. Wow, I have this out of the Ziploc sitting in over here in the sun. Well, this stuff I think needs to be dried out. Uh, super moist when I opened it. But anyway, oh, isn't that pretty? Smoking. Smoking damages your teeth and gums. Yeah. So this is Condor, original long cut. At first I had no idea what it was when he sent it to me. To be honest, I was like, what is this, some kind of English chew? <laughs> and, uh, anyways, and uh, This is also an awesome natural uh, pipe tobacco. I just had no idea. But yeah, first I was like, damn, it's got some, some, like, some beef jerky or something. Dude, it smells so good. Now this is like more of a saltier smell. It smells even more meaty, less smoky, less campfire-y. Definitely some smoke smells like campfire-y. smells meaty. It smells like I could eat it. Like I even kind of like I went like this. I put my tongue to it to just taste it. <laughs> and uh yes, dude. It's like meaty. 
brake seal gently over that condor moment. Anyway, so I'll be doing a review on that one. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, review and we'll chat. See y'all later.